Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the JMeter, why we need JMeter, and furthermore, we will see how we can download and run the JMeter on the Windows machine. So, let's begin. JMeter is basically an open source Java based application. JMeter is used to measure the functional behavior in terms of the performance. So, using the JMeter, you can measure the performance of your application. Initially, JMeter was developed for the web applications only, but now they have extended their features and functionalities and you can do much more than that. For example, now you can test the performance of your APIs as well. Now let's discuss why we need to do a performance testing. For example, tomorrow you will be developing an e-commerce application, so it is expected that maybe thousands or maybe millions of users will be using your application at the same time especially in the cases of the promotions right so the more number of users will be accessing your application the more resources of your application will be consumed so at some time your resources will get consumed and your application will start slowing down and eventually your application will stop responding so if this happens your customer will not be able to purchase anything from your site and eventually it will impact your revenue. So that's why in order to provide a smooth experience to the end users, we need to do our performance testing. Okay. So now let's see how we can download and run the JMeter on the Windows machine. So here are the steps you need to follow in order to run the JMeter on your Windows machine. So first, you need to download Java because JMeter is a Java based application. So you need to install a Java on your machine so that you can open the JMeter and work with the performance testing. Okay. So you need to download a Java first, then you need to set up the environment variables for Java setup, setup environment variables for Java okay then verify okay then we need to verify that Java is installed and working properly okay after that we will download JMeter and finally we will run jmeter okay so these are the steps we need to follow okay so java is already installed on my machine but for you if you want to install java so just go to the browser and type download java or download jdk okay so once you will download that okay you need to define the environment variables okay for that let me open the environment variables to show you how you can define the environment variables for Java. So let me open this one on my machine environment. Yeah. So I'm opening that one. Okay. So you need to go here environment variables and here what you need to do is that first you need to create a new system variable. Okay. And you need to give a name in caps java underscore home and you need to provide the path main root path here okay once you will do that after that what you need to do just click on this path click on added and here you need to provide a java path okay if this doesn't work just provide the full path till the bin okay so what what is the bin path so let, let me open my c drive here okay and here in c in program files here's my java okay and here so in case that particular path which i showed you earlier doesn't work then copy this path from here and paste this path here in in the path system variables okay here click new and add that one so it will start 
working so now you have successfully added the environment variables now this is a time to verify either your java is working or not okay so for that open your command prompt and type java dash version and hit enter so if the java versions are appearing here this means that java is installed and working properly on your operating system if not then you need to check your environment variables okay so this is how you can download it and install the java now the next step would be basically to download the gmeter so open the browser and in browser just type download jmeter okay so this is the official website from where you can download a jmeter so click on this link and from here the easiest way is to use the zip file so just click on this zip file and it will start downloading right now there's some problem with the link if i click on this link it says not found and most probably this is just due to this preferred something like that in the URL. But once this will be fixed, the zip file will be downloaded on your system. So here, wherever you want to save this zip file, you can do that. So you will get something like this. You need to extract this file. Okay. And it will create a folder for you. Okay. Okay, now you need to open this folder and you will see multiple subfolders here. So don't worry about these folders. We will discuss these folders in our upcoming sessions. For right now, just click on this bin folder. And again, you will see a lot of files here. In order to run the Gmeter, you don't need to install a Gmeter on your machine. Just click on this Windows batch file in order to run the Gmeter. Just click on this one. So now you have successfully opened up the Gmeter on your Windows machine. So in our next lectures, we will first discuss about the folders we see earlier, and then we will discuss the UI and interface of the Gmeter, which is quite simple in nature and easy to understand. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We hope that you have learned something today. See you in the next lectures.